So to convert moles of O2 to grams, that's molecular oxygen to grams, we'll use this map here to guide our work. So this is a typical problem. We're given 0.73 moles of O2, and we want to get to grams. So on our map, we're starting with the mole, and we're going up here to the grams. That means we're going to multiply by the molar mass of O2. So we go to our periodic table, O2. Oxygen is 16.00 grams per mole, and we have two oxygens here, two oxygen atoms. So we'll multiply that, and we get 32.00 grams per mole. Those are the units. So we have a molar mass here, and we're just going to take 0.73 times the molar mass to get grams of O2. So let's set that up. 0 0.73 moles, that's abbreviated MOL, of O2. And we'll multiply that by the molar mass, which is 32.00 grams per mole. And we do this, multiply the top, divide by the bottom. Moles, those cancel out. So we're left with grams. That's what we want. And our answer is 23.36 grams of O2. So we've converted moles of O2 to grams. There's another way you should be aware of, and teachers really like this method. You might even be required to do it. It's called factor label or dimensional analysis. It's really the same thing. We'll take and put a line across from here to here, and then we'll replace the multiplication symbol with another line. So we know that there are 32.00 grams in one mole of O2. We multiply the top, divide by the bottom, moles of O2 cancel out. We're left with grams, so we know we set it up properly we get the same answer. You can kind of think of it this way. You put the desired quantity, we're trying to find grams, so grams goes on top over the given. We're looking for moles, that's the given. So we put our grams over our moles, and that way we know things cancel out. Sometimes it helps to think of this as desired over given. Either way, you'll get the same answer. This is Dr. B with how to convert from moles of O2 to grams, and thanks for watching.